So our second case is a case of a non-specific interstitial pneumonia, or an NSIP. And I think this is a nice contrast to the case of a usual interstitial pneumonia, which I showed first. So if you haven't watched that video yet, you might want to watch that one first before taking a look at this case. And so in contrast to the previous case I showed, this has a very homogeneous appearance, where if we look starting from the pleural surface, going towards the center of the specimen, and then back out to the pleural surface, it has a relatively uniform appearance, where there's really no accentuation underneath the pleura, or around airways. It's very much uniform. You will notice that some areas are a bit dizzier than others, and some of this is actually just a bit of atelectasis that can happen to the specimen as it's being processed. So let's take a look at an intermediate power for this area here that's a bit better preserved. And what you'll notice when we go to this higher power is that the alveolar architecture is largely maintained in these cases. We're not seeing big areas of architectural distortion or microscopic honeycomb change that we'd see in cases of usual interstitial pneumonia. And in fact, when we go down a little bit further, we really see that the alveolar septa are really intact, except what's happened is they're really expanded. And they're expanded by both fibrosis as well as a mixture of chronic inflammatory cells that are diffusely expanding the alveolar septa. And so you can see why this would cause a, a relatively high degree of lung impairment, because the, instead of the nice thin alveolar septa that allows for efficient gas exchange, the air has to diffuse all the way from here in these air spaces through these thickened alveolar septa into the capillaries. And so in contrast to our case of a usual interstitial pneumonia, this case is very homogeneous. So we're not seeing that temporal or spatial heterogeneity that we saw in cases of UIP. So there's no temporal heterogeneity, meaning that as we move across this, this all really looks at the similar phase of disease where it's this fibrosis and mixed inflammatory infiltrate uh, expanding these alveolar septa. We're not seeing areas of normal lung. We're not seeing areas of fibroblastic foci. It's really just this uniform fibrosis expanding the septa. The next thing is that there's no spatial heterogeneity. It's really, as I move across this, it really looks the same no matter where we go. So we have a temporally and spatially homogeneous process in contrast to our cases of UIP. And so putting this together, this case is diagnostic of a non-specific interstitial pneumonia. And this is an important diagnosis for the pathologist to make because a subset of these patients will actually respond to steroids in contrast to patients who have a usual interstitial pneumonia. So just to summarize, we have a very homogeneous process that's both uniform spatially, meaning it looks the same no matter where you go across, as well as temporally, meaning that we have this uniform fibrosis without areas of normal lung and without areas of fibroblastic foci. Um, and lastly, the architecture is relatively preserved. We're not seeing large areas of architectural distortion. We're not seeing microscopic honeycomb change. So thanks for watching. This is a case of non-specific interstitial pneumonia and stay tuned for more high yield cases of interstitial lung disease. Have a great day.